Good evening, uh, Professor Hausman, uh, distinguished guests. At the risk of lo losing the audience and running out of time, I'm going to make this very brief. Uh, so the first bit is a little bit of the composition of our team. So while this is a promotion piece that we're talking about, uh, the team doesn't necessarily consist of people from promotion alone. You will see it's a fairly wide cross-section of uh, colleagues from the Board of Investment, from both investment promotion and appraisal, uh, the legal department, the media department, research and policy advocacy zones. So it's a, a cross-section of uh, BOIs, employees who are contributing uh, a lot of different perspectives, which makes this uh, a more direct and a targeted approach. Now, uh, the economic challenges, uh, I won't really dwell on that, given the time, but I mean, these are things that everybody is familiar with. And the problem that was brought to us was the lack of export catalyzing FDI. So if we have export catalyzing FDI, if you have money coming into the country, into industries, which will then grow exports, all of the challenges mentioned above and some others uh, are negated. Now, so how do we go about this? So the, metal, the methodology, obviously it's not reinventing the wheel. So what we are doing that hasn't been done before is uh, quite simply the usual targeting approaches. You take the Sri Lankan uh, proposition. Uh, we look at comparative advantages where the country favor, uh, is, uh, is rated favorably. And then we take that out to the world and we say, come to Sri Lanka. Now, this approach is different in the sense we, yes, we do look at the comparative advantages. Then we look at the type of investor that we want to attract, the type of investor that we want in Sri Lanka. We profile them. We look at what makes them tick, what makes them move, what makes them change, basically what attracts them. Then we come back to our home picture and we look at what parts of our scenario match with that sort of A-grade anchor investor game plan. Therein, we develop a proposition that is very specific and targeted. It's not a generic marketing plan. It's very targeted about who we are focused on, why we are focused on them, and why they should be focused on Sri Lanka. So that is the difference, and that is what we hope will make it effective. So the solution in detail, I won't dwell on this. My colleague, uh, Ms. Malagor, has covered most of this, the evaluation process. So in that, I need to mention that uh, all of these are connected. I'll, I'll touch on that on my last slide, actually. So their efforts are connected to ours. They would recommend the sectors that we would pitch for. So the sectors that we worked on for the moment uh, in manufacturing, logistics, and uh, tourism, so from solar panels to pharmaceuticals, agricultural machinery, an airport transit hotel, it's, it's fairly diverse. And uh, the tool that we are using is something called a pitch book, which is a marketing brochure, sort of. But again, it's very, it contains very specific information. It's not generic, and it's targeted to a particular investor. If it's in the same sector, ideally, what we'll do is we won't be going after five or six investors. We'll probably be looking at the top two or three. Or maybe, the, if you take the global rankings, maybe the third, the fourth, and the fifth. But either way, it would be something which is the, the information contained would be pertinent to either any of those targeted investors. So I leave you with this. How do we get a top global player to come to Sri Lanka? Basically, we need to ask them. And we need to ask them in a way that makes sense. And are we targeting the correct sectors? That's why I said I'll uh, dwell on this on my last slide. This is where basically the correct sectors are analyzed and they come to us from the targeting team. There's a climate team that gets involved with us. They would look at how do we create an attractive climate for, these, for this particular sector. And then we, we go after the targeted investor or the anchor investor, as we call it. So uh, I promise to be brief. I think I've kept this to about five minutes. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's the best part of my uh, five minutes that you guys had. I'm done. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. So it's been a long evening. Uh, we come to the end of today's session. I want to 
thank uh, the Ministry of Development Strategies and International Trade and uh, Secretary Chandani for having facilitated today's event. Thank you very much, Professor Hausman, for having made the time to come out, even after you have lost your luggage and wearing a Sri Lankan suit. And thank you for the audience, all of you who have remained behind way past our time. Hope it was fruitful. Uh, we are hoping to put this on YouTube. And one thing that you can do for us is to spread the message. So at least tell somebody else, do a tweet, post on Facebook, uh, give a link to the YouTube to maybe 10 others. You'll spread the message. Thank you very much and good night.